Hey guys, so it's Dana with Sully Photography again. I am working in Photoshop Elements 11. So I'm gonna show you how to hand edit a matte finish effect on your image. Now, first of all, you want to make sure that all of your editing is done before you do this. That will be your last step. This photo is clearly not finished. We're gonna call it finished <laughs> um, because I've already edited this photo and it, I, I did a lot of work, so I don't really wanna redo all that. But we're just gonna call this finished at this point. So when you do your matte finish, the first thing you want to do is you want to boost your contrast because when you apply the matte finish to it or when you do the hand edit to do the matte finish, it's going to lighten the contrast. So in um, Elements 11, we have the guided area here and I don't know the proper terminology for everything, so just bear with me. But we're going to go into our guided and we're going to boost our contrast a little bit. I'm going to go up probably about 10%. Let's go 15 for the hell of it. Um, so once we get our contrast boosted here, we're gonna go ahead and hit done. Now what you wanna do is you wanna go into your levels. And to make a matte finish, you need to go into your create levels adjustment. You're gonna have a layer, you can totally name it if you want to. I don't name my layers because I flatten my image pretty much every time I do something, but that's my editing process. So now you have your input levels here and you have your output levels down here. Do not mess with your input whatsoever. All you want to do is take your little black arrow that's right here on your output, and I know it's hard to see with this this um, this app that I'm using, so bear with me. Um, I apologize. But you have your output levels down here. You have a black arrow. You're basically just going to kind of drag that, and you're going to drag it to get it to the mat that you want. Um, you can go really high. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do. Remember, it will look different because your photo will be finished before all your editing will be finished before you do this. Hit OK. Now you have a matte finish. So you want to go back into your, uh, make sure you hit done, of course. You want to go back into your contrast, and this is just going to be a go back and forth kind of deal. And you're just going to boost your contrast if you want a little bit. You can take your brightness up if you choose to. This is where you'll kind of do what works for you in, in your type of editing. We all have a different style, so it's not going to look the same, and you know it might be wrong in your eyes, but basically my editing style is I've always had more of a softer matte finish on all of my photos. So so I like a, a vintage kind of, I don't even know how to explain it. I like the, the I call it Woodstock. That's my style. Um, it's just how I edit. So um, again, this would be finished, so it's not going to look as pretty as normal, but I'm not going to do all the editing. And you'll just kind of play with your, your levels here. Um, let's just say we want to put it here. want to boost my contrast a little bit more. I'm going to hit done. We can go back into your levels. Remember, you're only going to work, and it's going to keep asking you when you open your Create Levels Adjustment. It's going to ask you for a, la um, a layer. Again, just if you name it, if not, whatever. Play only with your output. Remember, if you mess with this input, it's just going to totally ruin everything you're going for. So just play with the output and get your mat to where you want it to be. Let's just say that's where I want it. I'm done. That simple. That's how you do a matte effect by hand editing. Um, I use actions because I prefer certain actions. I have a lot that are my favorites, but I know that people do want to hand edit. So when you do, that's it. It's just going to be a level situation, and that's as easy as it is. It's really simple. Um, I know a lot of people are really scared of Photoshop. I was for the longest time, let me tell you. And it's really not as hard as it seems. It's not as scary as it seems. It, it looks overwhelming, and anybody that's working with the elements, um, our elements is a hell of a lot easier. Granted, uh, as opposed to like the CS5 and 6 and all that. Now, I had CS5 for a matter of about four days, and I wanted to blow my brains out. It was so scary, so overwhelming. I'd never touched Photoshop before, and <clears throat> I still have it, and I will never open it. It's never been touched. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Someone um, who believed in my photography actually purchased Elements 11 for me, spoke to another photographer who told her this would be the best program for me to learn on, and I absolutely love Elements 11. It's a lot more simple. But you can do pretty much everything in Elements 11, or in Elements that you can do in the higher versions of Photoshop. Um, it might be done differently. But it's, it's really very simple, so just keep that in mind. Um, I know there's a couple of you guys that said, you know, you're a little scared of Photoshop and whatever. <laughs> I'm just telling you, please don't let it scare you. Take the time to ask. I, I don't mind doing tutorials for you guys if there's anything I can help you with and it's something I know how to do, and if not, I will totally look it up and try to figure it out for you. But um, this is how easy it is. It's, it's just a level deal. So just remember that. You just want to boost your contrast, and you want to go into your levels. You want to create a levels adjustment, and you want to play with your output only, and only the black arrow. Don't mess with the white side. 
just the black. If you go with the white, this is what's going to happen. So you stay away from that. And just remember, this is where your matte effect comes in. That's as simple as it is. It's really that easy. So I hope that this helps you guys. And I really want to see you guys do um, some photos with the stuff that I'm showing you. And I want to see what you come up with because I'm really excited to help. And I, I love seeing that I did help you guys. So post your stuff in the threads. Let's see what you got. Let's see some of your images and what you tried out. And again, questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. And I really, really hope I'm helping you guys. Okay.